Yo, welcome back everyone. This is JP here with PSG. Bring y'all some more men in NFL 20 on the PS4. Our Colts franchise year number two. Week 15 as we take on the Pittsburgh Steelers at home. If you don't mind going ahead and smashing like that. Sorry. Don't know what I was saying there. If you don't mind smashing that like button. If you think we're going to win the Super Bowl. If we're going to take it all home with a rookie QB. With a whole rookie team. The youngest team probably in the NFL. So let's check out this breakout player. I can't speak for the rest of the defense, but man, last week that was the best game I've played this year. That does huge things for. Well, yeah, you've been, you've been on like someone's practice squad. Another game like last week, and man, I feel like I've arrived. Hold the Steelers to less than 200 passing yards, or get C.J. Revis one plus interceptions, forced fumbles, tackles for a loss, sacks. Is that or sacks? Because he can get the tackles for a loss. He can even get an interception, maybe. I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this game. First and 10 on the 19. I knew they were going to go for the screen there. So that was a perfect pass to Eric Ebron up to the two. First and goal on the two. You know what we're going to do. The old PSG special. What the heck was that? Second to go on the seven. Gonna go for the same thing again here. Block him. What was that? Third and goal on the eight. Do y'all see what I'm working with in the passing? T.Y. Hilton getting that touchdown there for us. We needed that. We got to take the early lead here. His 50th, 50th career receiving touchdown. First and 10 on the 13. I don't think they're going to expect this. Uh, the one. His first rush, 13 yards. Almost cut it back and got in there for the perfect touchdown. First and goal on the one. And Derrick Henry will get in. Let's go. His 10th rushing touchdown of the season. First and 10 on the 17. That's so bull. Second and 10 on the 17. Let's see what we can get going here. A few yards there. Third and 7 on the 15. And Henry Ruggs getting us up to the two-yard line. First and goal on the two. And John Ross getting a touchdown in the back of the end zone there. To put us up 21 to nothing after the extra point. We're only in the second quarter. Third and eight on the 26. And Eric Ebron getting his 75th. Touchdown on the season and a another touchdown for him this season as well. Man is on fire. He had a perfect spot over the defense. Nice throw by Tua. Doesn't get much better than that. First and 10 on the 20. Trying to get some points before half. Get underneath it. Nice. Nice uh, catch by John Ross there. I seen the one-on-one -on -one coverage. I thought I'd give him a chance to get underneath it, and he did not let me down. Let's look at how he beat his man there on that beautiful play. Just barely in front of him, but enough to get that first all the way up into the 30-yard line. First and 10 on the 32. And John Ross with another huge catch to get us up to the one-yard line. We will call a timeout there. First and goal on the one. Henry tried to get in there, just couldn't get it. Second and goal on the one. Going to try it one more time here. And Derrick Henry will get in for his second touchdown of the game. Number 15 on the year, his 11th rushing touchdown. First and goal on the two-yard line. Ooh. Thought I was going to have him. 
Second and goal on the two. Just throwing that one away. Third and goal on the two. Going to try one more time. Oh, my God. I didn't want him to keep running. I wanted him to stop. That's, that's miscommunication there. Third and inches on the 50-yard line here. I'm just going to go with the play-action play. And Henry Ruggs with a first down up to the 36-yard line. Third and 10 on the 36 here. Oh, man, are you serious? Fourth and 12 on the 23-yard line. Here's our chance. To... And Quincy Wilson with a interception there. What a play by him. Third and four on the 32. T.Y. Hilton getting a first down up to the 22-yard line. Second and five on the 17. Just going to run the ball here once. And Henry with some tough running there to get up to the nine. He's not having too good of a game, but he's got two touchdowns for us. First and goal on the nine. Oh, man, I almost got away from it. Second and goal on the nine. I'm going to give Ebron a chance. And uh, that was very badly placed ball. Third and goal on the nine. And Eric Ebron with another touchdown in this game. His fifth of the year, I believe. So a big win, a blowout win on top of that. Uh, Tua had 125.7, rating 28 of 38. Only 10 incompletions, not bad at all. 448 passing yards, 73 completion percentage. Four touchdowns, two interceptions, longest pass of 48 yards. Running the ball was not the best, but it was very viable. Uh, Derrick Henry, 13 carries, 39 yards, three yards per carry. With two touchdowns, though, four broken tackles. Travis Etting, 10 carries, 51 yards, 5.1 average, two of five. Five attempts for 17 yards, 3.4 average, and T.Y. Hilton had two carries for four yards. Receiving the ball, Eric Ebron, seven catches, 97 yards, and two touchdowns. Sorry, I feel like I have something in my chest. And uh, two touchdowns. Big game for Eric Ebron. He balled out for us today. T.Y., six catches, 94 yards, and a touchdown. Almost, he's just a little bit shy of 100 yards. We could have had three 100-yard receivers, but it's okay. Uh, we had, uh, what is that, five guys with over 50. Uh, Two guys over 90, and uh, or three guys over 90 and one over 100. Henry Ruggs, six catches, 71 yards. John Ross, the third, five catches, 109 yards, and one touchdown. Travis Setting, three catches, 66 yards, and Mo Alley Cox, one catch for 11 yards. Blocking, Quint Nelson had a pancake, the only pancake. The only sack given up was by Joel Bentonio. So good game by our, our defensive line, it looks like. Or our offensive line. Jaron Brown led with solo tackles with a total of eight there. Assist goes to Kenny Moore, the second with two. Total tackles goes to uh, Jaron Brown with eight. Tackles for a loss goes to uh, Darius Leonard there with three. Did our one guy get at least one? Oh, he didn't. Sacks goes to Taven Bryan and Chase Young. Interception goes to Quincy Wilson. Pass deflection by Jaron Brown. No forced fumbles. We had a block by Derek Brown. That's big. No safeties. No touchdowns. Kick return. Uh, Greg Stroman had one for 22 yards. Punt return. Travis Etnian, four returns for 33 yards. So not bad there. We will go back to the main menu now. 45-16 was the final. It uh, seemed like the last like five or six minutes, whatever was left there after you've seen the last play. All right. So let's see what players we have. We have a few, quite a few players here. We'll go ahead. Oh, Malik Cooker should be back then. We'll get his zone up. Oh, he's out 34 weeks. I forgot. I don't know how he has to upgrade, though, but okay. Jayon Brown. Keep getting that field general up. We need you out there, big guy. You've been killing it for us this year. Plus one man, plus two zone. It's big. Kamiko Tari. I forgot he was even on the team, honestly. We get a speed rusher up. Um. He's practice squad eligible. If I put him on practice squad, though, he would get 
taken instantly. Taven Bryan. Get his power rusher up. Come on now. He was uh he's pretty big in this game as well. And then we'll auto do these other two guys. Oh, this is new. Okay, okay, let's see. How did he do? Coach, I've put a lot of work this year and I'm finally starting to see results. I appreciate it. My title's good use. Dev trade upgraded. He is now a star development and progresses faster. I didn't know if he got enough, if he did enough to get that upgrade, but that is nice. So let's see this thing from the general manager, but Mike making the playoffs. This is new. Looks like you've looks like we've punched our ticket to the playoffs. Congratulations, coach. We've got home field advantage throughout the postseason, so do your best to keep our guys healthy over the next few weeks. We're gonna need them in January. You locked up playoff berth, the whole team gains plus twenty morale. Wow. What's our team look like then with plus 20 morale? I just want to see what that looks like on a... Oh, it says plus 2 morale. Oh, that was weird. Alright, so let's see here. So this... Revis kid is only a, only a 69 overall, but he's a star development player now. So that's some big news. He's now up to a 70. So, I wonder, should I keep him after this season and maybe move him to free safety and put Quincy Wilson back down into a corner position and uh, we'll get rid of, like, Kenny Moore or someone? Like, we'll, you know, we'll just have a stout freaking corner position? I don't know. We might do that. We'll, we'll have to see after this season. All right, let's advance to the next week where we take on the Los Angeles Chargers in their home. Let's see the weekly award went to Tua. 28 of 38, 448 passing yards, four passing yards, two interceptions, one sack, five carries, 17 yards. Big game for him. The rookie is balling out. We have a big injury decision. We'll go ahead and check this out right now. Uh... Uh, we'll just start the backup. We don't, we want him healthy when playoff time comes. Uh, we have some upgrades. It's all pretty much pretty important upgrades. We'll do his strong arm again. He should oh he should have got an ability. Oh that's right he's got plus two more, so he's only eighty three. Henry Ruggs out here. Get his deep threat up. Maybe he'll get some speed. I usually say it and they get it. Plus one release though. Dion Kane is deep thread up as well. All right, so before we end this, let's go look at. Oh, they! I forgot they moved all this around. Some stats around the league first in passing yards, first in passing touchdowns. He's forty third with his passer rating. Travis Etienne is thirty second in NFL and rushing yards, six seventh in. First touchdown in the 32nd. Uh, Eric Ebron's fourth in receiving yards. Sixth in reception. So, wow. Offensive yards, we are first in the NFL. What about defensively? Defensive, we're 21st. Okay, so let's see. Let's look at the yearly awards. MVP looks like it's going to Dak Prescott. With the Los Angeles Chargers, who we play this week. Tua down there in sixth. Coach of the year, Frank Reich is in the lead for that. AFC Offensive Player of the Year is Josh Allen. Surprise, surprise. We don't even have no one in the running for Offensive Player of the Year. That's stupid. Offensive Player of the Year, Darius Leonard in fourth there. Jayon Brown dropped down to tenth. Offensive Rookie of the Year, obviously going to Tua. Travis Etienne in second there. And we got another running back in third for the Titans, DeAndre Swift. Henry Ruggs third in sixth. Defensive Rookie of the Year right now is going to go to A.J. Epineza with CJ Young in second, Troy Dye in fourth, Derek Brown in seventh, and Anthony Jennings in tenth. Best QB, Tua. Best running back. Currently don't have no one in that running. Best wide receiver. Wow, the Titans wide receiver, Corey Davis. Uh, John Ross in third, T.Y. Hilton in sixth. Best old line, Quilton Nelson would definitely get that. Best defensive line. We got Chase Young down here in seventh. Best linebacker is going to Miles Jack, but Darius Lynn right there in second place. He could definitely jump out and take that spot. 
Best DB, Logan Ryan for the Titans. Kendall Floor in ninth. Best kicker is Brandon McManus for the New England Patriots. Adam Venturi in sixth. So I think with that, um, we'll call that it for today's video. So if you don't mind, if you enjoyed it, smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new. And until next time, guys, this is JP with PSG saying peace out and have a wonderful day.